It says that young people don't have any initiative these days. Just look at a bunch of Melbourne teenagers who went out and started up their own radio station. With little or no experience, the kids behind Hits FM managed to embarrass the pros and capture an influential slice of the music market. As Michael Holmes explains, initiative isn't always rewarded. Sometimes it can be hard to find a radio station you really like. Welcome to Hits FM, the hottest radio station in Melbourne. Although, as you can see from the soundproofing and the equipment room, this is no high-tech outfit. Have you had any training to do any of that? No. Nah. Hits FM is a community station staffed by volunteers aged from 12 to 28. The majority are teenagers. Even the station's promotions man is on pea plates. But what's frightening the big commercial stations is the youth of Melbourne are tuning in to Hits FM in their thousands. So I've always got a good range of music. It's none of this old fogies crap. <laughs> it's really good. It's heaps better than the other ones because it plays like all the music, the teenagers and stuff like these days. And there's no like old music and rewinds and all that sort of stuff. And basically everyone's talking about it at the moment. So yeah, it's really good. To get an idea of how popular Hits FM has become and how quickly it's all happened, consider this. Last year, this bunch of amateurs did a week-long test broadcast to just a handful of Melbourne suburbs. Now, in those seven days, they got nearly 2,000 calls of support on just one phone line. These days, there are a few more phone lines and the station's broadcasting all over Melbourne. As for the audience, well, they can't afford to pay for a survey, but it could be as high as 100,000. We love it. I mean, it is just great considering, I mean, I came into this not knowing what would happen, and to have people come in and say, oh, look, I listened to you, all of that. Matt you know, is 17. Sometimes he's an announcer. With no classic rock and just the hottest new music, FM 89.9. Today... He's recording an advertisement. Wednesday, it's back to Acid Jazz with DJ Johnny Topper and the band The Trippers. 21-year-old Gabrielle is reading the ad, while elsewhere, 21-year-old Matthew is selling them. There's even a newsroom. What was the latest from Sarajevo? The years down the track, they'll be able to look back and um, say, you know, I was part of what Hits FM now is. 20-year-old Andrew is the station's programming boss, and his philosophy is quite simple. If you're over 30, you have no business deciding what music young people want to hear. We're here to accommodate the young people of Melbourne. I mean, unlike the commercial radio stations, we're not here to make a buck. We're here to accommodate the needs of the young people. And that means plenty of top 40 and dance music. They're stuck to it. They're glued to it. They found out about it. They're glued to it. They're telling their friends. David Paul of Warner's Records. Are they having much of an effect on the charts? It's having a great effect on album and single sales. I mean, we've already managed to get one record up into the top 30 because of what they've done for it. That song by Tevin Campbell jumped 74 places on the charts after being played on Hits FM. This station of amateurs was making stars out of nobodies and providing a slap in the face for the big stations and their multi-million dollar budgets. I think we are a real threat to them and they're just starting to realise that. This little community radio station is, um, is coming their way real fast. <laughs> but sadly, there's a flip side to the dream run of Hits FM. You see, they've been operating on a three-month temporary community licence. A license that expires next month, but one that won't be surrendered without a fight. You see a petition, sign it, and uh, we'll get it happening and hopefully keep us on the airwaves. Petitions are being signed. A submission to the broadcasting authorities is being prepared. These kids with the Midas touch might get lucky, but as things stand, the chances are they won't. Well, I, I think that would be a real pity. I mean, here's a young generation of kids here that have, you know, really achieved something. And if it's closed down, you're taking that away from them. The Hits FM crew and their supporters will now ask the Broadcasting Authority 
for an extension of their temporary license. So 